All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at Spell Striker. Well, sort of. He's grown up now. Yeah, you know? it's interesting that sometimes Konami does that with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I have one print of the card and then create a new card, and it's just the card is older. I mean, a perfect example of that is Minerva. It's like, hey, yeah. It's like, hey, not only am I grown up now, but I'm also worth like two hundred dollars, two thousand dollars. Like, you fucking slut. But uh, <laughs> Spell Striker grew up, and now he has renamed himself to Spell Strider. All right, uh, still wearing that goofy hat. Like, when you were younger, it looked cute, but now since you're a man now, it looks dumb. Like, you might want to go get yourself a new hat. So uh, he's still Earth, he's still a warrior, uh, but now instead of being level three, he is level four. Uh, 1800 attack, which is not bad. Uh, 1800 for level 4 is nothing to scoff at. It's just, you know, with uh, Draco Pals, just the Draco engine, they, they just have such high attack. It's like, it's like Evil Swarm is all over again, and it's just like they got that extra 50, so uh, they'll be running him over. But uh, let's go ahead and look at his effect and determine uh, if he's really good and in comparison to his younger self, of course. So, if that reads, this card is in your hand, you can target one face up spell card you control. And one your opponent controls, banish them both, and special summon this card. Okay, well, I can definitely see some pendulum scale shenanigans, definitely. But, uh, you know, you kind of got to take it and take the hit, too. Uh, if it was just, you know, banish two face up spell cards on the field, oh my god, that'd be busted. Like, hey, those two pendulum scales, banish those, and the summon spell strider. Holy shit, that'd be busted. Like, this guy, if he banished both, just two face up spell cards on the field, period, he would be side decked like crazy. Like, just three, three spell striders, and everybody side deck. Cause that, just, just, it would be an automatic spell crack, uh, pendulum scale cracker, but instead, one on your opponent's, one on yours, you summon him. And at least he's level 4, so he can still be normal summon. It's not like, you know, he's like a level 5 or a 6 where you just draw him and you're like, wow, you know, I don't have any face-up spell cards, so I can't even summon him. He's kind of a dead drawer. You know, it doesn't say he cannot be normal summoned. Your set must be special summoned by his effect. So you can always just normal summon him, you know, searchable through Rota, so that's not terrible. But, uh, you know, if you got some uh, face-up spell cards to spare, you know, maybe if you're... You know, you don't mind getting one of one of your own pendulum scales, or if you're playing like a deck that doesn't mind getting rid of their filled spell, or, uh, you know, you're playing like Fire Fist or something, get rid of a tanky that's already been used, or something along those lines, just have a face-up continuous spell that you don't mind losing. You can always just go ahead and hit up your opponent too, and you know, uh, face-up continuous spells, they're, they're, you know, they're big right now. They're pretty big. I mean, we got, a. Uh, we got, of course, any pendulum-based deck. Banish that pendulum, one of their pendulum scales. So that's not terrible. Uh, you got, of course, monarchs. So get rid of that domain. Get rid of that uh, that uh, march. Get rid of that return. Just you know, get rid of it. So that's pretty good. Uh, even a little, even marmels a little bit. Marmels get rid of their equipped spell that will negate one of your spells. So if you worry that you're gonna activate a spell and it's gonna get negated, you just you know send one of your space out spells. Send one of your opponents special summon spell strider. You know, simple as that, so that's good. And, uh, of course, Cosmos. I mean, psh, never never destroy Cosmo Town, because, you know, not only can it get them a search, but it can just search for itself. Never uh, pop Cosmo Town, but why not banish it? You <laughs> know, banish the Cosmo Town and just be like, nah. No, nah, let me see you try to get that Cosmo Town back banished. You get everything else back banished, but how about that Cosmo Town go? So, it's not terrible. It's just, you know, you got to have a face-up on your own. Like, if you don't have a face-up, then just, ah, uh, but... Uh, you can get your opponent with, uh, your own opponent, too. Uh, in comparison to his younger self, I'd say I like his younger self better. He just has more synergy. He really does. Um, well, you can go ahead and run a search through this, unless you have a face-up continuous spell and your opponent has a face-up continuous spell. You're not special summoning it. Well, spell destroyer is like, hey, you know, you banish the spell, I'm getting press summon. Including that really you just searched me for. So you wrote a special sh or spell striker, uh, Spanish special summon spell striker. Sure, is level three, so he probably doesn't have as much synergy as uh, as this guy. He'd be, he'd be in level four because you know, spell striker was level four. He'd probably be staple. You know, he probably would be staple. Just be like, wait. Especially when uh, Rota was at three. Hell yeah, three Rota three spell strikers. Banish special summon. Bam, there's level four right there. So, uh, but being level three, you know, he still has some synergy plays. You see him a lot and. Uh, not as much in rank 3 decks, because Rota's at 1. Probably if it was at 3, you might see him a lot more, but, you know, Center Knights are, uh, are Warriors too, so probably not. Maybe not, but you see him a lot in, um, in plant-based decks, you know. You, you, you see him, you definitely do, in, uh, Daily Duels, when I'm playing Plant Princesses, and I'm trying to, uh, you know, summon that, uh, Melianae, you know, rank 3. 
you know, spell strider, let's go. So, uh, spell strider, spell striker. This is gonna get confusing. But spell strider, I'm just not sure. You know, he just takes a little bit too much setup to pull off the effect. The fact, I'm not saying it's bad. You know, just if you have a continuous, uh, I mean, if you have a face up spell card, you don't mind giving up. Go ahead and get your opponent to special summon him. But at least he can be normal summoned as well. So, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about him. He's not terrible, but he's not fantastic either. But it's nice to see that uh, he grew up, you know. He's not just sticking with his usual weapon. This man actually has a, a knife now. So he will, you know, stab you. <laughs> he ain't fucking around anymore. Look at that look on his face. He's like, I'm done being a little kid. I'm a man. A big, strong man. But no, I'm done. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I, I forgot to mention this, but... He, uh, all right. Uh, is it just me? Uh, does this outfit kind of look like Marth? Like just a just a little bit like Marth, maybe maybe a little maybe Roy, but he's kind of got that that, that kind of that feel, that Fire Emblem feel, doesn't he? You just take off the hat, like the hat just kind of ruins it. But and what is that weapon he's holding? Like what is that a staff rod? Is that like is that spell strikers? What did I, you know? I have to just look up spell striker like just right now, it's just just to be like yeah maybe <laughs> is that spell strikers weapon? I can't really tell. Spice Joker just has like a stick with a shine at the end, so I'm not sure, but definitely the hat. Same color cape, armor still blue. Uh, it looks like Spice Striker actually has a sword there on the side, so maybe it's the same weapon? I don't know. But he grew up. He grew the hell up. <laughs> so, alright, I'm done now. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I'll be back on Wednesday with another card to look at, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.